Although there have been great advances in survival rates, one in ten women diagnosed with breast cancer won't survive beyond five years. The National Breast Cancer Foundation has responded with a bold new target, zero breast cancer deaths by 2030, ten years' time. Joining us is the CEO of the National Breast Cancer Foundation, Professor Sarah Hosking. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. And, uh, it, uh, it, it's ambitious, but it sounds good, a, a good target to go for. It's a very audacious goal, and we know that, um, and it's going to have its challenges. But we know that we can make huge inroads by investing in research, and we've seen the impact that research has had over the last 25 years in improving survival rates, but we still have a huge battle to get to zero deaths by 2030. OK, so you've got a target of $100 million invested into the research. Where is that going to go? So we've got four key areas of, of focus at the moment. So first of all, we're doing a ga gap analysis, which will help us to understand the 9% of women that don't survive uh, beyond the five-year mark. We need to know so much more about what it is that's driving their cancer that they do not do well. Is it geographic? Is it genetic? Is it lifestyle? Is it something else we haven't even thought of yet? So we're doing a huge piece of work on a national basis, looking at data sets through different areas, different parts of um, Australia, and joining those data sets together so that we can really start to analyse those people who don't survive. Professor, there's a real double-edged sword to the whole story, isn't there? There's the good news story of uh, survival rates going up, and we hear a lot of that, but on the other side of the coin, a lot more diagnosis, um, and those numbers are on the rise. You're absolutely right. So, first of all, uh, on, on the positive side, the last 25 years has seen an improvement in five-year survival from 76% to 91%. So we know that research works, and this is great news, and it makes people feel very confident about the outcomes for breast cancer. Um, the reality is that uh, the number of cases in Australia is still rising quite sharply. We're expecting 20,000 new diagnoses this year alone, which is enormous. And it does make um, breast cancer the number one diagnosed cancer in Australia, which is a new um, stat for the last two or three years. We've been sort of winning that badge of honour that we don't want to win. Um, we're seeing about 3,000 deaths a year, so about a little bit more than eight women per day losing their life, and a small number of men as well. So we know that we are not winning that battle in terms of the absolute numbers and we have to invest in that to work out why that's happening and what we can do about it. Mm. And we hear a lot about having healthier lifestyle choices. Uh, what are some of the uh, things that we need to look out for? So we know that one in four cancers could be prevented by changing our lifestyle choices. So if everybody was active, doing lots of exercise, an apple a day, keeping off the alcohol, keeping our weight down, we know that about 25% of cancers wouldn't happen in the first place. We know that there are lots of other risk factors for different types of cancer, breast cancer is one. We need to understand those better so that we can really target new treatments and risk analyse people so that we can understand who's at risk of getting the disease and what can we do to stop it before it even starts. So that's going to be uh, really key as well. Speaking to a lot of medical practitioners, professors, researchers, right across the board, uh, the one thing about medicine is if it's diagnosed early, there's such a better chance of it either being controlled or stopped. At, at a later point, it almost becomes impossible. Uh, what's your message to women, young women, uh, today? So be breast aware is really, really important. And that's as important early on in your, in your younger years as a young adult woman uh, to understand your breasts, what's normal for you. So uh, breast checking about once a month, you know, really throughout life. Uh, breast um, cancer increases with age, so, so obviously as you're getting into your middle and late years of life, your chances of having cancer are greater. But the, I think the key here is that if something about your breast seems different than you're used to, you need to go and get that checked and you need to do that early. Don't hold back, don't feel silly, get out there and see your doctor and, and get that checked. We're hearing the word immunotherapy a lot lately. Can you explain to us what that is? So we all have an immune system and our immune system looks after us. And one of the things that's uh, really been very effective in some cancers is to really upregulate the way the body uses its own immune system to fight cancer. A fantastic example and a great success has been in melanoma, where we're now seeing about 50% of melanomas are not just treated but cured through immunotherapy. That's starting to take effect within breast cancer, but it's not there yet. And so what we're doing is we're, we're investing into quite a lot of research within immunotherapy to try and make that upregulation really work for people with breast cancer as a new option. What age should people start becoming aware? Really any age. You, you know, we do see cancers in people who are 20 and 30, but they're relatively rare, but they do less well as well. So 
people need to be aware very early on. Men need to be aware, so men aren't immune, but mm. it is much rarer, of course. But as you get into your 40s and 50s, particularly if you've got a family history of, of breast cancer, you really need to be uh, breast aware. Um, and once the screening uh, routines kick in for you, you really need to take up those opportunities to go and get your mammogram um, and, and be investigated. And for more information, everyone's using hashtags these days. It's uh, zero by 2030, your hashtag. And where can people find more information? Certainly look on our website on uh, nbcf.com.au and also on the Cancer Australia um, website. It's a very good uh, source of information for uh, general stats about cancer. Uh, so there are a number of uh, different ways you can, you can find out. Google away. Google away, exactly. <laughs> a, a, a great message this morning, Professor. Thank uh, you. And thanks for coming on the show. My pleasure. Thank nice you so much. You. Thank you.